What's up, guys? So, Crowfall released some cool elements here for their siege weapons and their future plans for new siege weapons in the battle. Currently, there's two catapults, two different styles. One shoots out like a blue uh, or a ball, and one shoots out a red or a ball. A lot of people may not notice the difference, but one has a longer range, and the other one uh, is a shorter range that you actually have to... Well, actually, there's a freestanding one. You don't have to put it into siege mode. The longer range, you have to put it into siege mode to use. But what they're showing us now is the kind of crafting concept behind making these things. And it's kind of really cool. Uh, a really quick build time, 3 minutes and 45 seconds on these things. I'm assuming that these are going to have a very short duration of, you know, max lifetime. You're not going to be able to riding around a catapult uh, forever it's probably gonna have like a, a one hour or 15 or 20 minute window of life where you're able to ride around in these things and then it shows you some of the materials that you're gonna possibly use and then also the customization features so you got the basic catapult here and then if you want you leave it as is if you want you can add different customization pieces to make it stronger make it more uh, you know beefy different ammunition wheels faster so that stuff is pretty cool there, but obviously with these being like a limited timed items where you're not always going to have a catapult with you, it, you know, how much money do you want to invest in the siege? How much, you know, valuable resources are you going to go and put in? Do you want to do just the bare minimum and leave it at the basic, basic core values? Or do you really want to push hard and put tons and tons of, you know, resources to make it unstoppable? Uh, that is the choice, the risk versus reward. Very, very cool. They touch upon the construction phase. They say that there's going to be kind of like siege equipment throughout the battle, like locations uh, where you can build siege weapons. It's not like I guess you can build anywhere, is what I'm getting out of this. They're also bringing out some new type of siege weapons. So very cool there. And here is a really cool siege weapon. You can see it's like a, a walking death trap. And you can actually throw in a bunch of people inside this, supposedly, and then just kind of like storm the castle walls. They say this is a really uh, long build time duration. So this is something you have to really kind of like think tactically, like, oh, do we need this? Is this how we're going to attack and push the, uh, the castle gate walls? So very, very cool stuff. And then they show off some of the mechanical siege weapons for the defenders of the, of the castle. So, of course, the attackers can't have all the fun. They're going to have some some defending siege weapons, possibly some towers. We have these ballistics right here. Look pretty cool. So, it gives us about four different ballistics, ballistas. And, of course, there probably will be other defending siege type weapons coming out. They're also asking for your feedback as well. So post on the forums if there's any kind of siege weaponry that you're looking forward to or you think would be really great in Crowfall. And that's the cool thing is they're kind of open a little bit to ideas that players have. 